First at 11, a protest erupts outside of CCSD Board President Linda Cavazos home tonight. This after the board fired Superintendent Dr. Jesus Jara three weeks ago, then voted to reinstate him last week. Thank you for joining us at 11. I'm Brian Loftus. I'm Denise Valdez. So now this fight is getting personal. As you saw in that video, 30 to 40 people protested outside her home. Cavazos is known for leading the board through that vote to fire the superintendent. Then a week later, a vote to give him his job back. Madison Kimbrell on the story live in Henderson with uh, what happened there tonight. Yeah, it's quiet here now, but tense moments for Cavazos and her neighbors. As I spoke to her earlier about the protest at her house, she says they are still in shock. This video taken by Cavazos' husband shows the number of protesters who rattled this Henderson neighborhood Sunday afternoon. I spoke with the board president by phone, who suddenly heard yelling outside. They were yelling about mask mandates and about uh, the COVID virus being fake, and that we were um, suffocating their children with masks. CCSD police had been on standby all weekend, warned about a possible protest. Cavazos admits she feared for her family's safety and her neighbors, too. We have been able to see that at least two or three, looks like two definitely came up to the front door. I was on the other side of the door, so I could hear very clearly the comments that were being made. The group leveled insults, and she claims they even threatened to burn her house down. She also heard protesters say, Katie sent us, possibly referencing Katie Williams, another CCSD board member. In a statement, Trustee Williams posted on Twitter, stating, I not now, nor have I ever supported protesting outside of a personal residence of any public figure, nor have I ever directed individuals to do so. After a few hours, the group left, and no one was hurt.